guys, Sampurasun. Hello from Pantai Charita, a seaside town, three hours drive from Jakarta. And behind me is the beach, which is behind our hotel. This is our hotel. And this is the room of our hotel. Guys, good afternoon from Pantai Charita. And we're heading to the fish market now at a town called Labuan. And this is the traffic jam on the road towards Labuan. Well, this is a town festival. I don't know, maybe. It commemorates something, I don't know. This town is called Labuan. This is the bridge and this is the minaret and here we are now at the fish market it's not really a fish market but what do you call it? an auction center this place is an auction center for fish a fish auction center and over there we can see the sea and over there we can see barbecue Moal, moal teh. Di tempat nu sejen wae. These are small restaurants, food stalls. Over there, it's a petrol station, but it's not for cars, nor it is for motorcycles but for fishing boats. And over there is a restaurant, a small restaurant. And over there is another restaurant, a barbecue restaurant, fish barbecue. This is our lunch for today, a seafood stew or something like that. a boiled egg and a roast chicken we're heading to Anyer right now and we're going to the lighthouse that lighthouse where we'll be visiting is the beginning point of the Great Post Road which was built during the Dutch colonial era from Anyer to Panarukan in East Java.
on that side you can see a great big mosque with a green dome This is the road between Ujungkulon National Park and Chilagon. This is not is but was because it's what do you call it? Don't know. We're no longer here. We're no longer there. What I saw was an estuary. with fishing boats on the left side of the road is the sea and finally we've arrived at the lighthouse of Anyar or precisely the lighthouse of Chikoneng And this is another beach. I think it's a restaurant. I don't know. This is the lighthouse, the great big building And this building marks the beginning point or the zero point or as we say in Indonesian titik nol of the great post road between Anyer and Panarukan in East Java. And this is the point. This is the lighthouse, the great big lighthouse. And over there, we can see a monument, the starting point, the beginning point, or the zero point, or as we call it, titik nol in Indonesian, which marks the beginning of the Anyar Panarukan Highway built during the Dutch colonial era in the 19th century. This is point zero, Titik Nal. Up there, we can see the light on the top of the lighthouse of Chikoneng. And here we can see the sunset. Not really, because it's all covered in cloud. Clouds. And over there, is a stray cat and over there is a coconut tree push 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 guys good afternoon from a seafood restaurant near Pantai Charita. And now we're having lunch. And this is our menu. Barbecued fish, prawns and chicken. These are local vegetables, raw vegetables, lalapan as they call it.
we're heading to the Batu Hidung Beach, which translates as the Black Stone in Sundanese. And this is the road between the town of Labuan and Tanjung Lesung. And it goes further to the small town of Sumur, which is the gateway to the Ujung Kulon National Park. But we're not going to the Ujung Kulon National Park, we're going somewhere else. coastal road and it's not far away from the beach and on that side it's not very far from the sea this is an earthquake prone zone you can see over there coconut trees everywhere it's typical of this coastal zone coconut trees everywhere Over there we can see the sea. This road is a coastal road, but still it's part of a national road. It's called the National Road Number 3. We've passed an estuary. This is someone's house, maybe. We're going straight ahead towards Tanjung Lesung. We're not turning left. <laughs> Yet again, there are coconut trees. It's typical of a tropical coastal zone. And finally, we've arrived at the Blackstone Beach, or as they call it in Sundanese, Pantai Batu Hidung. And this is the Blackstone. And these are the fishing boats. You can see here, the waters are blue and clear. Fishing boats. Fishing boats. And this is the big black stone. Over there we can see coconut trees. And over there are unused fishing boats. These are used fishing boats. And over there is a great big tree by the black stone. I don't know what that tree is called. Mm. 
Over there we can see coconut trees. And over there are unused fishing boats. These are used fishing boats. And over there is a great big tree by the black stone. I don't know what that tree is called. And over there we can see swings. This is a signboard showing what this beach is. This says that the Blackstone Beach or Pantai Batu Hidung is located in the village of Tanjung Jaya, the district of Panimbang, Pandeglang Regency. And here we have the map and this is what the black stone is. Batu Hidung is the place of Karamatki Buyut Irang. Irang means black, the same as Hidung in Sundanese. Karamat is a place where people pray and try to get away from all problems and for those who feel that the other people are against them. Batu Hidung was a gathering place for the ancient warrior travelers. So some people call it Batu Bale. It means that people must always gather in the Bali. Bali, for the Sundanese people, is defined as a place of prayer. Along the Charita coast to Ujung Kulon, there are many mounds of leftover rocks from the eruption of the Krakatoa in the past, which the community has associated with the story of Kibuyut Irang, because these rocks are jet black. Unfortunately, it is not known who, where, and what Kibuyut Irang's intentions were, apart from teaching mysticism to deepen the religious knowledge of the people living here. This is another information signboard. And this is the big black stone, a sacred place where long time ago people prayed here. People who lived around this area prayed here. We're getting closer to the big black stone. This is the big black stone. The sacred big black stone. It's just like the Seven Sisters Country Park in England. Guys, it's getting darker and darker here. Yeah. It's sunset. And over there, we can see the sunset. But not quite. Because it was raining this afternoon. This is the big black stone 
with trees on top of it. And this is the view, the best viewpoint of the sunset. Over there we can see the yellow sky, reddish yellow sky. Over there we can see coconut trees. Over there we can still see the sunset. The sky is getting darker. It's dark blue. Look at the sky, it's getting darker and darker. It's still dark blue though. These are the fishing boats. Over there, the waves are getting stronger, the tides are getting higher. This is a local gift shop. It sells traditional snacks. And this is the kitchen. These are called Eta Namina Naon Kicimpring Kecaprek Or otherwise called Mping And these, the spicy ones are called Naon Namina Anu Lada Diluhur Solondok These are made from cassava These are called wajit, made of mung beans. This is the new motorway which connects Rangkas Bitung and Serang. It was built just last year. It's all nice and modern. We're in a service area 45 kilometers away from Jakarta. And these are the lorries queuing for petrol. And this is part of the motorway service area. Indomar. Yet again, local restaurant, a small restaurant, Soto Kudus, which sells local chicken soup. We're getting closer to Jakarta right now, and this is the toll gate, and this is part of the motorway between Serpong which is part of a satellite city called South Tangrang, satellite city of Jakarta. And, and here we are on the Jakarta Outer Ring Road, which is the M25 of Jakarta.
and that's it for today see you in some other location still in Indonesia